Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's uh, video, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate, well, I'm gonna try for the first time doing the Alex method uh, using uh, lower temperature uh, on soil wax, 464. And I'm just gonna compare it to the relevant method that I've been using all along and see uh, which one makes uh, a better candle. So if you wanna see how I do this, guys, keep on watching, yes! Okay, so I'm gonna be finding out how much uh, liquid this uh, container hold, and then I'm gonna use my uh, wax calculator, and I'm gonna uh, do all the calculations for the amount of wax and fragrance oil. By the way, I'm gonna be using 10% uh, fragrance oil. Okay, guys, so let me just get this ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you uh, how I find out the, the water weight. Uh, first, make sure that you have a piece of paper so you can make take notes of everything that you're gonna be making. So I just put the, the glass in the scale and then I just, I'm gonna tear the, the container to make sure that I have zero. I'm gonna be doing ounces. So I'm just gonna fill it up to the point that I like the candle to be filled up. Not not all the way up, but to the, to the point that I want. Okay, so let's see, I want 11 and a half. So I need, tw so uh, the total weight is gonna be 23 ounces for both containers. Go into the wax calculator and let me get the numbers that I need. Come back. Okay, so for each for each container, it's gonna take 9.3 ounces of wax and 1.1 uh, ounces of uh, fragrance oil. So I'm, like I told you before, I'm gonna be using two different containers because I wanna keep it separate. It's gonna be two different tests. I'm gonna be using, in this test, I'm gonna be using the uh, Alex method. And in this other container, I'm just gonna be using the regular uh, method. And then I'm gonna, co uh, I'm gonna uh, compare them. Okay, now I wanna find the fragrance oils that I want to use. And as you know, guys, that's my uh, my favorite part. So let's begin. Blue Jasmine uh, Royal royal Fern from the Wooden Week. Oh my God, I love this Blue Jasmine. Oh my God! Oh my god, oh my god, you have to get this one. Oh my god, blue jasmine. Oh my god, definitely, this one. Oh my god. You know, I get so excited. Let me see this uh, bergamot and ambergris. I think I ordered this again. That's nice, I didn't know. Oh my god. Let me see. So beautiful. I love fragrance. Oh my god, you know what? I need to test it because I think it's very interesting. I'm upgrading my laptop with my MacBook in there. I'm gonna keep it in here because I can uh okay let me write it down in here blue jasmine and royal fern. Uh, this one is bergamot and ambergris. Okay, so let's see. Blue jasmine. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my God. Let's see, let's see if this, these are singing together. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is out of this world. You know what, I get the shields to come out. My skin. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is a must. This is candle number one. Oh my God. Actually, I'm gonna be doing the same oil for both of them. Let me just try another combination. I love this. Thick leaf and galbanum. I don't know what galbanum means. Please. Is it a flower? It's delicious. You know what? This is this, uh, a different kind of note. Wow. Guys, let me tell you, it's like a, adding to a painting, you know? 
like you know on, on a photograph you have like the um the highlights the highlights the shadows the contrast let me just write in here what this is big leaf and galvanum so like in photograph you know in photography like you have the, the highlights you have the contrast you have the shadows so it, this is the same thing you know when you're building up a fragrance okay so let me see by itself oh my god Here we go, guys. Is it gonna be a winner? Ta ta! Let me take one out. Let me take the uh, Bergamot. Let me take out the, the Blue Jasmine. I mean, do this too. You know what? It goes better with the Bergamot. Uh, a fig leaf and bergamot together. Okay. These two together, the fig leaf and galbanum and bergamot and amber grace, they're very powerful together. I mean, it's good, but it needs something to calm it down. And the jasmine really likes, it sits in the middle, so. Oh my God. I love this fragrance. Oh my God. It's like beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm definitely gonna do this. I'm gonna be using these three equal parts. Okay, I'm gonna be using Blue Jasmine. So I need to figure out the numbers. Blue Jasmine, Royal Fern. Oh my God. Bergamot and Amber Grease. Oh my God. Oh my god, I, I can't stop saying Oh my god, because it's so good! Fig leaf and galbanum. Wow. It's like it gives you so, so many emotions. It's like, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's romantic, it's a... Uh, it's adventurous. I love this. I cannot wait. Okay, so now I have to figure out um, how much of each I'm going to need, okay? So let me just put this aside in here. I love this. I need to take the calculator. Um, so I need to do, uh, because I'm gonna be using two different uh, containers. Okay, so I need to divide 1.1, divide it into three. So it's like 0 0.36. That's gonna be really tough to match. So I'm gonna do 0 0.3 times three. 0 0.3 ounces. And let me just do that first. So that's the most, uh, I just wanna get that out of the way. Hey Siri, how many grams is 0.3 ounces? It's 8.5 grams. Okay, so every, every fragrance is gonna be 8.5 grams. I think it's easier for me to do it that way. And I'm gonna have the two containers in here because I'm gonna measure them at the same time. So 8.5 grams. This time we're gonna be doing uh, ounces. So each container is gonna have 9.3 ounces. Come on, a tiny bit more. Come on, two more chips. 9.3, perfect. I got a few kinds of waxes in there, but I really want to get to test this one first to see how this one thing I, I can come get familiar with this wax. Two, nine, three. Perfect! I want to see my, com my comfort level uh, because I don't want to uh, jump uh, from wax to wax to wax and not really like reading seeing the whole picture and that's what I want to see when I'm be able to run, that I know okay if I did this this time uh, can I replicate this the next the other time so that's why you have to become familiar and keep testing with the same wax over and over again I mean that's my opinion I don't know people may think differently but that's that's how I do things okay so we have everything measured and uh, let me just take you to the other side of the room and I'll be right back the size is three and a half inches inside 
So I need to find out which size wig I should use. So I'm gonna go in the computer. Um, okay. So they're three and a half inches. So I'm gonna go in, into my laptop. I mean, into my uh, how you call it, a MacBook, and I'm gonna find out. I don't know. I'm gonna. You know what, guys? I'm gonna try this one, HTP five. And let's see what happens. This may be too big, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try two of these. I mean, oh, how CD16 or uh, 104. I think 104 is gonna be too small. I'm gonna use this one, guys, for this test. And let's see what happens. I mean, just we learn. Like this is 172, so it's not bad. But so, guys, let me know in the comments below how you how are you liking my channel. Is there anything that you want me to change? Is there any, anything that you want me to add? You know, it's... Like I told you guys, I'm learning with you. So that way it keeps straight. So now it's time to come in here. I only heat the wax until melted. If being done on stove with a double boiler, heat the water on medium low heat. So I need to go lower than this. Say okay. Water should be at a light simmer. As soon as you, as soon as the wax is a liquid. Okay, as soon as the wax is a liquid, the temperature should be under 150 degrees. Take it off the heat and add the fragrance oil and dye if you prefer. Stir with a spatula until mix. If pouring wax melts, pour them right away. I'm not doing that. Uh, then take the rest and let it sit until it turns cloudy. Temperature will be around 100 Fahrenheit. I don't actually temp anything anymore, so your temperature may, may vary. The most important part is just to watch for it to turn cloudy. After it turns cloudy, give it a good stir and then pour it into your yards. And then it's setting it up. I have not noticed any difference with hot or cold throw by doing it this way. I had tons of problems when I first started and I just tried about every temperature and every way. I finally read a post on a website that said soy wax breaks down after hitting 150 degrees. So I adjusted my way through lots of trial and error and have been having great results ever since. If you're using 464 and need some help, then give this a try. Please post your results, Is it okay? I know this also works for 444 and should also work with most low melt point soy waxes. So let's see how this goes and hopefully it will work out. Uh, let me just put the wax in there and start melting. This is the fragrance oil and this is the one for the, for the regular method. Okay, so it says to go up slow and easy uh, with the race. We'll see about that. So then this one is for that one, and then I have the other container uh, warming up. You know what, I was also uh, wondering that myself. Uh, why do waxes need to be... I always have my doubt because why do the waxes need to be uh, like heat up to 180, 185 degrees? And uh, you know, the only explanation that I could find from uh, Jeff Statley is uh, that uh, you want to make sure that the wax is really, really, really melted. Uh, if there's any kind of impurities or moisture, uh, that's when uh, you'll be able to release all that. So you you end up with a pure product. You know, that makes sense too. So, you know, it's just, you have to find whatever works for you. So yes, I was wondering that myself, you know, it's... So I'm, I'm having, I'm reading the, the method that uh, Jeff uh, Stanley has in his books. Which by the way, guys, his books, you have to get them. I think they are uh, A+. Plus. Thank you, uh, Jeff, for really putting out really uh, excellent education. I think it's the best. I got some uh, color chips that I have. Uh, but I don't want to play with color yet. I, I just want to... I want to see the uh, the wax in its uh, raw uh, color to see uh, how they react to the different techniques. Mm like ha hide any imperfections by adding color. You know, I have to say also guys, this is the best tool there is. Uh, heat gun, it fixes all mistakes. 
the point of getting the jars warmer is so to avoid sinkholes. And you know, when you pour wax into very cold, especially now in here, it's very cold in here, in this room. And there's nothing I can do about it. So that's, that's also why I want to, okay, so it started to melt. That's why I wanted to get that, that grill so I could keep stuff, you know, at like at a more normal temperature. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in the heat too because this is got it's very cold and this is gonna make so I'm gonna put balls on the heat. It's uh, there's a cold wrap in here and um, I just wanna make sure that I have the, the two of them, the two containers uh, at the same level of temperature, I think it's gonna be more accurate in getting a result if I keep them both at both the same temperature. I think it's better if I keep them both at the same temperature uh, because it's very cold in here and it's gonna get, uh, one is gonna get more solid faster than the other and I don't want that to happen. Okay, this is looking beautiful. It's not melted yet. Can you see the wax? You see, it's not melted yet, it's still like, I find it very relaxing to me. I don't know for you guys, but I, it, this is like it, it, it like takes my mind away from uh, from anything. I just want you guys to see the whole process. You know, you can always fast forward if you want. You know, it's okay. So. One thirty one. It's not all melted yet, but it's getting there. So as soon as everything melts, I'm gonna add the fragrance. Okay, a couple of pieces left. 145. In there, I don't wanna take it off the heat. I wanna make sure that it's melted, melted. Okay, 150, and I'm, I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm just gonna stir. And I'm gonna melt these two pieces. But I wanna take them away from the heat. And let me just put the other wax in. And the other, I have two pieces that need to be melted, but I'm, they're gonna melt by themselves. I just don't wanna make it more hot. Okay, 147 now. Still a couple of pieces that need to be melted. So I'm gonna put the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil right now at 146. And I'm gonna stir for two minutes. And it's starting to get uh, thick. I see the consistency is getting thicker, but it says to wait until it gets cloudy. Yes, and this one is doing great. It's starting to melt. This one's gonna go to 185. The wax is not fully open. It's, it's fully open at 185, so I wanna make sure that I stir to make sure that it's really well combined. That's my only concern, is that the wax may not be hot enough, and uh, the fragrance oil will, will seep up. That's why I wanted to do 10%. Uh, okay, so let me see how the containers are doing. In the meantime, let me just... 129. It's like, guys, you know, once you find it perfect, uh, what works for you, what kind of wick for the candle, what kind of a temperature on the stove, what kind of a fragrance oil uh, load you need. Perfect. Let me just add this and take it off the heat. Perfect. And stir, stir, stir for two minutes and then let it cool until 145 and then pour. I also think, guys, that it also depends on what kind of oil and uh, fragrance oil you're using. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they have some uh, different molecular uh, size. Alright, I'm gonna take it off the heat. And I'm gonna pour. Time to pour, guys! Look at the perfect amount of wax and fragrant oil. That wax calculator, guys, it's a must. It's not sitting, uh, it's not. It's not getting uh, like the white film at the bottom. So now I'll see what they claim uh, about the Perfect. Move to the side. 
I see it forming solidifying uh, from the center out, which is what I think is going to eliminate the sinkhole. I don't know. That's my. I'm just gonna put it in at 145. I think I, that's the way I did it the last time, and that's the way it was said on, on the group. I'm not sure. Time to pour, guys! Again, another perfect amount. Wow. Success! Wax calculator, 100% accuracy. It's a must have. And then I just leave this in here. So we keep it warm, so it's easy to, to, to clean. Ta ta! So here they are. I'm not gonna move them, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep them there, guys. Guys, I'm very happy the way they turned out. Let me just turn it this way. I really like uh, getting them uh, warm in the on the griddle. I think it makes, you know, I see, I like the way this one is, is uh, got settled, that it's, it's getting uh, hardened from the inside out. And, you know, and this one is not forming any, any kind of film at the bottom that Otherwise, would have or on the sides, it's like it's still solid. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Uh, hopefully, the spray we won't have any sinkholes. But if we do, we have the heat gone. Okay, guys. So let me just clean up and I'll be right back. Yes. Okay, guys. So these are the candles already poured. The one on the right, this one. This is the one that I use the Alex method. The uh, the slow one, the slow at uh, the low temperature, which I. Uh, I melted the candle wax, uh, I melted the uh, 464 to about 150 degrees. I took it off the heat. I added the uh, the fragrance oil and then I stirred and I uh, poured uh, in the container. It was around 100 degrees. Uh, yeah. So it's so far, it's looking good. I'm not seeing any sinkholes yet. The top is looking very nice and smooth. Okay, and then this one, this is one that I use the regular method that I uh, warm up the, uh, the wax to 185 and I pour the, and I put the fragrance oil at 185 and then I uh, pour into the container at 145 and it's uh, now it's getting settled. And guys, I have to say, I warmed the, the two containers with uh, a griddle that I put in warm to keep the the vessels, the containers uh, nice and warm. And guys, I am really have to say that it makes a huge difference, at, at least to me, because this one, the one on the left, the, the one that I'm pointing to, uh, the one that I use 185 degrees, um, being that this room that I'm in is very cold, uh, it would have been settled already on uh, all over and that's also made a lot of a sinkholes because of that but now it's, it's still it's been sitting there like for over 10 minutes and it's still like on a very liquid form so it's very everything is getting uh, settled like very nicely so okay guys so I'm gonna be uh, taking pictures after an hour and I'll post this uh, at the end of the video and um, okay so I'll talk to you later yes, I want to show you this so it's uh, this candle, this is the one that, that I'm showing you right now. Uh, it's been uh, around half an hour, and now it's when it's starting to uh, get solidified. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's getting like a, a crystals inside the uh, the candle itself. It's not really set on, it's not really like uh, getting set on, on the glass first. It's getting uh, solidified from the inside out. I think that's wonderful. I think something new, you know, like for us to think about, to maybe avoid uh, the problems we get when we have uh, cold containers. Like it's getting set from uh, on the top a little bit. Let me see if you can see the reflection uh, from the light. Not yet. And this is the one that I use, uh, the Alex method. And uh, I did a boo boo. I try. I cut the wick too soon, and that's why you see that imperfection around the wick. And it's still like it's not really completely set and, and i just went ahead and and i just cut it so you can see the top it looks really nice and smooth you see no sinkholes uh yet uh, i just want to show you the reflection 
So I'm very pleased with this experiment, guys. I, you know, usually when we, you know, when you pour the candles, you see uh, they adhere to the to the sides of the container and they just get crystallized. So this way, uh, I think, I don't know because it's not really there yet. So I'll, I'll have to see how this ends up, but it's looking really nice. The way it's like slow and easy, makes it more pretty. And I think it's getting solid in the bottom first. Also because I have this cooling rack, it's helping also uh, the airflow to go all, all around the candle. So yeah, so I'm very happy. So I'll, I'll be back in a couple of hours and I'll show you how they look. Okay guys, yes! Let me give you, okay guys, let me give you an update. As, as you can see, look at how this one is getting solidified. It's beautiful the way it's, it's like, uh, it's getting solidified from the bottom up. But the tops are looking great on both. It's I think um, on the one on the right, the one with the high temperature, I think I like that one better. That I think it's getting settled better. You know, I I mean I don't know yet because I have to make sure that I I have to uh, wait until they get completely uh, cured. But I think let me see if I can turn this a little bit so you can see it's still liquid on top. You see, but I think the, I mean it's looking very smooth and this one like i told you again i made a boo-boo there because I, I took out the wick uh i cut the wick too fast so it had like a hole in there no but besides that i think it's, the top is very smooth so i'm very happy with the outcome i'm very happy with the outcome so far so i'll come back in a in a, in a couple of hours i show you how everything is looking, okay? Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna give you my final results on this experiment. So on candle number one, the one on your left, uh, using the Alex method, I use low heat as recommended. Like I waited until I melted the candle, until it was a uh, candle, uh, until the wax was uh, completely melted. So around 150 degrees. Then I added the fragrance oil and then I waited until it went uh, until it cooled down, until it formed like a little bit of a, a cloudiness. Uh, I, it was around 100 degrees and then I poured the candle, um, the wax into the jar. And, and so you're gonna be the judge. Let me put you, so you can see the reflection from the light. So you can see the, uh, the finish, so right there. So this is as good as it gets. I mean, I'm not really too impressed. But it is what it is. I just wanted to try it. Then this is the, the regular way, which is 100. I heat up the wax to 100, uh, 185. I added the fragrance at 185, then a pour at 145. Um, let me show you the reflection on the light also. Like, it's basically the same to me. I didn't, I didn't notice any uh, big difference. Now, what I noticed a big difference did to me, and this is the first time that I've been testing these two, these two different methods. I've been doing this uh, since I started, but guys, I have to, I have to let you know something, guys. Uh, that by by me uh, putting this the containers on this griddle, on this grill in here, and heated them, I I heat them up to uh, about like around 116, 120 degrees. So I left them, I, they were heating there, they were uh, heating the containers for about 15 minutes while the wax was melting. And uh, so both containers were at the same temperature. They were around 100, they were around 120. 100. And I noticed that that really made a huge difference in the way the, uh, the wax uh, cured and solidified. And I have to say guys, I truly totally believe that because of this, the container being warm, uh, it made the tops perfect. I think you cannot get any more perfection in tops than this. Uh, so I'm not going to uh, credit that to the Alex uh, method or the regular method. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, credit this to the uh, method of uh, warming up uh, the vessels before you pour uh, your wax. So this is the final result, guys. And I had the same cold throw, you know, and. Oh my god, that formula that I made, that uh, fragrance oil that I made, I cannot wait. Oh my god, it's out of this world. So yes guys, so that's my final results. 
testing the Alex method uh, against the, the regular method. So it's all on the testing, guys. You all have to uh, try everything to see how it works uh, for you. Uh, yeah, so this is my final result, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and send me ideas and videos that you want me to make for you. And until the next one, guys, take care of yourself and each other, and bye-bye.